Leeds Cycling Campaign wants urgent action to provide safe access for cyclists, runners, walkers and families of all abilities at Skelton Grange Road Bridge in South Leeds. The bridge's steep and often slippery steps prevents access to the fantastic Trans Pennine Trail and Sustrans National Cycle Network by wheelchair users, people with chronic health conditions, many riders with e-bikes, families with buggies, users of mobility scooters and people with disabilities. This has been an issue for at least 30 years and needs resolving when access to green space is now widely recognised as vital for people's physical and mental health. Many of the communities that the route runs through have significantly poorer health than the city average. National, regional and local ambitions to reduce car use and increase cycling for commuting and leisure will be severely compromised if this major traffic-free route linking Leeds with Wakefield and beyond is not upgraded to make it accessible for everyone. Already, more than 2,200 people have signed the Leeds Cycling Campaign petition calling for action. Now let's hear from some of the 500 people who use this major green highway every day. We would really love to be able to cycle this route because um, we've got family that lives kind of on either side of this bridge and um, it'd be great to not have to take a two, three mile detour on major roads through the centre of town, not as a nice kind of leisurely family canal cycle. Uh, the main barrier for us on this bridge is we've obviously got kids, uh, we have to have seats or extra bikes or children's bikes and the steps are just really inconvenient to carry those things up and down them. Um, one of them is an electric bike with children on top of it um, is just too heavy to even consider walking down these steps. Uh, we've never attempted it because it's just dangerous. I use my recumbent bike because I had a stroke 28 years ago and I was totally paralysed down my right side. I couldn't use um, a normal bike, obviously, and I, I can't really walk very far at all. So it's one form of getting out and getting exercise and to be able to join with other people, my husband, friends, grandchildren. Yeah. It just makes me feel so much better. All the work that they've done and it, the expense, it seems really ridiculous that I can't access the bridge because of the steps. We use this infrequently due to the height of the bridge. I think if we could get, get a bridge here or some type of, well, an easier way of getting over this side, I think we'd be able to get into town, into Leeds, within another 10, 15 minutes. And, you know, if you look around, this track is far safer than it would be on a road. So, you know, we actually do cycle a lot, but we'll stop here because of this bridge. And go back spent so much money on making the path so usable and what happens is people only go as far as this. It's so scary because I think well if I drop my bike that's it but you struggle with the weight and Sean has to come down and help me. The track's safe unfortunately this section is not. It's not safe at all. It's really hard knowing that I can only go halfway without any assistance and then I can't get up this part so I'm, I'm missing out on half the trail. I would really like for it to be made more accessible and then it would, ju it would just mean myself, other people in manual wheelchairs, anybody that's coming out independently, they would then be able to manage the full trail and go across the bridge on their own and that would be really important for me, that in independence is what I'm after in, in everyday life. Really. In 2006, a feasibility study recommended a new pedestrian and cycling bridge at Skelton Grange. Another option would involve rerouting the path to the front or rear of Thwaites Mill Museum. Leeds Cycling Campaign is working alongside Leeds Civic Trust, Sustrans, the Canals and Rivers Trust and the Friends of the Transpennine Trail to explore these options. We believe that both options need to be explored as a matter of priority in the interest of public health and active travel. Well now is the time to solve this problem. It's going to require a combination of stakeholder effort to ensure that a feasibility study can be organised, solutions agreed, and then development funds put to creative use. I don't think that we would like to see this problem still evident in three or four years. Political leaders and all stakeholders will need to demonstrate their support and work together to find a solution. So Strands is really happy to support those stakeholders and we will do whatever we can to find an equitable solution to enable walking cycling to be the primary choice for local people. Funding needs to be sourced to undertake further feasibility work and deliver the best option for everyone. Providing access for everyone at Skelton Grange Road Bridge is a major test of our ambition in Leeds and West Yorkshire during a global pandemic 
to create a more sustainable, livable, safe and socially just city. Inaction is no longer an option.